if you observe through our circuit description column is mostly contributed of the receptacle circuit this is the main reason professionals do recommend that for this hour spare it should be a 30 ampere circuit breaker likewise the cable size 2.5 and the point per unit will be what will be 300 since a line is 2000 voltage ampere let's assume we have five units here so for this our receptacle here let's explain it to be the cooker control unit ccv and this to be hot water heater HWH HWH and we'll be having one one all through here. The next column now is the diversity factor. And as I explained in our last class that especially circuits with high numbers of futures not all these futures will be energized at the same time as we're having 15 fixtures here now probably only 10 fixtures will be energized at the same time we actually have a table recommended by nec for this but to as in this our project design let's choose the standard which is 0.75 or 0.7 for lighting 0.7 for lighting 0.9 for our ring circuit 0.9 and all these one one features will be having one one two 0.9 and 0.9 after we are done with this we need to calculate the load per phase for this circuit which is our circuit one the load per phase which is p goes to iv but for this instance since we are having nominal voltage will be equals to the nominal voltage multiplied by the numbers of points in the circuit and the diversity factor so we have equals to our nominal voltage is what uh, that's f11 f 11 f 11 times number of points in the circuit that's g 11 times h 11 enter we can just copy this for this operation control c so you come here Control V and start changing the value. F12, G12, H12. Let's start balancing the face. You can still come here. Control V, but we're having F13, G13, and H13. Enter. Can still come here, control V. This doesn't need to go in order.
I'm copying this now. Control C. Control V. Adjust change here. Control V. F change here. And it's F change to G. And each The next thing is to calculate the total number of load per phase. So let's just create a row here. Total load per phase, which implies the addition of this, the addition of this phase, the addition of this phase two this column equals the sum of shift brackets from this to this shift bracket close enter so this is the total number in what So this is the total number of loads in this our red phase. Likewise for this one, it equals to equals the sum of from the beginning because in case we are balancing our for this this phase enter. Likewise this. Enter. So I can just give everything a board check. All bordered. The next thing now is to find the major concern of this our load schedule, which is the total connected load. And it will be the sum of these three. So let's control X, let's paste it here, control V. So it will be the sum of these three, which is this, this, this. So it will equal to, equals to the sum of C bracket from this place to this place. Shift close enter. Let's convert, let's put it in kilowatts. That means we divide it by it will be divided by one thousand. Divided by one thousand. Enter. Let's change the front area black. So we are having 32.2 kilowatt load connected to this building. So we still need to calculate the amperage so that we can be able to specify this our protective device. And this can be calculated by using the PIV power factor formula. 
Wait, yeah, to the page. Why you call it the total current? The unit will be in ampere. So we have and this answer equals this. divided by shift bracket 1.73 or with 3 because we are using 3 phase times our voltage we are using 415 voltage enter but let's we forgot we've converted this one to kilowatts and the unit of power is watt times 1000 times 1000 so we are having 44.8 okay let's increase the front first area area well wow. so can you increase it more so we're having 44.85 ampere our total connected load is 32.2 kilowatts and the total current for the building is 44.85 ampere. Based on this, we can be able to specify our protective device. And the next standard protective device, which is greater than 44.85, is either 50 or 60 ampere. So let's specify our protective devices to be 60 ampere. So this is the process of creating a load schedule.